Aina Koji Kiyotaka, the one with one face but many names. The perfect human, the demon of the white room, or as I like to call him, I'm Mr. Take your bitch. Normally when anyone thinks of Aina Koji, they think of a cold, calculated, and complex person. Or you think of him as the closest thing you can get to an emo kid without getting the black hair, the black nails, and, well, the summer stop. Which isn't necessarily wrong, considering Aina Koji is probably one of the most complex characters in all of Animanga. But that's not all there is to him. Despite him seeming cold and calculating, there are numerous amount of times where Aina Koji actually contradicts himself. One moment he's trying his best to hide away from the world, and the next he's taking on the mini mafia just to save his favorite waifu. I say waifu, but she's more of a toolbox in his eyes. Aina Koji's contradictory nature is deeply rooted in his past experiences and his upbringing. His desire to go unnoticed and blend into the background is a result of his early life and whatever happened to him in the war room. It kind of led to him having a guarded and secretive demeanor, as well as a strong aversion to drawing attention to himself. Almost like he developed his own survival instinct. But if it's a survival instinct, what could he be so scared of? What would make him hide his greatest strength? Well, to be honest, with his past, there could be a number of reasons. It could just be trauma from the white room, or he could probably just fear the exposure and loss of control over his carefully constructed mask. Or he may fear forming genuine connections and emotional attachments, because it would probably mean he would have to let down his guard and show vulnerability, which was detrimental in the white room and the complete opposite of how he was raised, or in his case, trained. Growing up in the environment that he did made him skeptic and wary to any and everyone he came into contact with, and because of that, he never really formed a genuine connection with others. He's constantly analyzing and assessing the motives and actions of everyone around him. So to avoid this from happening, he built up his own kind of protective wall and decided to become something like an eminence in the shadow, Except while Sid is probably brain dead in every aspect that doesn't have anything to do with fighting or strategies, Aina Koji is an all around mastermind and genius. Which just goes to show how big of a contradiction Aina Koji actually is. Because despite him being called the perfect human, Aina Koji is in fact not perfect. He's far from perfect due to his inherent flaws in his nature. Yeah, he's incredibly intelligent, has really good problem solving skills and is extremely strategic and every girl with broken man syndrome's wet dream, I'm not kidding that's actually a thing, look it up. But at the same time you can't necessarily call him a normal human being or even a perfect one. Being able to have normal human relationships with people and form normal connections without just seeing them as a toolbox is something humans need to have. The nature of a human is to naturally want to be around others and if someone doesn't have said nature, they could be seen as weird or flawed in some way. His guarded and secretive nature, while serving as a good survival strategy, prevents him from fully engaging with the world around him and actually experiencing human connections. Which would also explain why my guy is more dense than a brick wall. Or is that what he wants you to think? And because of this, Aina Koji struggles to embrace vulnerability and form any meaningful connections with pretty much anyone. And if that wasn't bad enough, his manipulative tendencies, while effective in achieving his goals, prevent him from genuinely having interactions with people that aren't mind games. So in essence, Aina Koji's imperfections mostly come from his guarded nature, his manipulative tendencies, and his emotional detachment. And yes, these complexities and imperfections are what give Aina Koji depth and make him Aina Koji but they also go against the narrative that he's the perfect human. But we'll soon get to that point. Earlier I had said that Aina Koji does all of this to achieve his goal, but what exactly is he looking for? What could he go so far to achieve? It's actually much simpler than you would think. What does every human want? Or if not every human, at least every teen. A girlfriend. N nope. Just me? Okay. Freedom. And no, I'm not talking about Aaron Yeager levels of freedom, I mean the freedom to choose and decide your own path in life. His goals likely revolve around him trying to find his own sense of autonomy and freedom in a complex environment that he's been in ever since he was a child. With everything Aina Koji's been through, he probably just wants to do what he wants to do, not what anyone else planned or set out for him to do, or anything that he was manipulated into doing, or forced to do. He just wants to create his own straight path. 
His whole life ever since the White Room, he's had expectations placed on him by everyone around him including the kids in the White Room. To everyone, Ayan and Koji was this unreachable god that they could only hear about. And because of the situation and place he was in, he was also constantly manipulated by pretty much everyone around him, including his own father. So his desire for freedom is probably just a deep-seated need to protect himself from external influence or manipulation. He wants to be able to thrive on his own without having any limitations being placed on him by anyone else. And because of this, his manipulative tendencies were kind of used as a means of self-preservation or empowerment. By using his natural talent and his only ally, his brain, and carefully orchestrating events, he could outmaneuver and carefully avoid anyone who wanted to manipulate or control him. So in a way, he doesn't really have a goal, he just wants the opportunity to actually be able to look for one. And when you think about it, Aina Koji isn't really that much different from anyone else in that way. Everyone has something that they want to do, but for some reason are stuck doing something else. They were either told that's the right way to go, or they simply had no other option but to go that way. And what do they all want in that case? They all want the freedom to actually be able to do what they want to do. And that's the basis for Aina Koji's character. Just like any other person, he's just a huge ball of contradictions. He's not the perfect human, nor is he a demon. He's just a regular, flawed, normal human. With, I guess, daddy issues, a dark past, and a bit more IQ than Einstein. I didn't mean to turn this into a therapy session halfway through, but it kind of ended up like that anyway. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.